Hello there, business trailblazers and aspiring moguls. Welcome to another episode where we decode the mysteries of entrepreneurship. Today's million dollar question, are entrepreneurs born or made? It's like asking if the chicken or the egg came first. So let's scramble this egg of a question together. Firstly, let's look at the born camp. Some people seem to be born with an uncanny knack for business. You know, the kids who had a thriving lemonade stand or those who sold candy at a markup in school. They're like baby ducks taking to water, instinctively knowing how to bill their customers. Pun intended. But let's not forget our friends in the maid camp. These are folks who might not have sold anything beyond Girl Scout cookies, but discovered their entrepreneurial spirit later in life. They took courses, read books, or just jumped into the deep end of the business pool and learned to swim. They're proof that if life gives you lemons, you can indeed learn to make lemonade. The truth is, the debate between born and made might be an unnecessary divide. It's like arguing if Batman is better than Superman, ignoring that they're both superheroes. Entrepreneurs, whether born or made, share a common DNA resilience, creativity, risk-taking, and an insatiable drive to succeed. So, whether you're a born hustler or a late bloomer in the entrepreneurial garden, remember, it's not where you start, but where you end up that counts. Keep learning, keep experimenting, and most importantly, keep laughing. That's it for this episode, folks. Until next time, here's a nugget of wisdom to ponder. An entrepreneur isn't someone who owns a business. It's someone who makes things happen. So go out there and make things happen.